Okay, so here we are. I'm going to do a, a guide to how to beat absolute radiance in radiant mode, which is a bit crazy because this is a very RNG based fight. So, um, but I'm still going to do it because uh, I fought her many, many, many times and um, I have some tips for you that might actually help you. Uh, the idea is not just to kill her in radiant mode, it's to kill her without being overcharmed. Uh, as you can see on my left, my soul saying is broken. So, yeah, I shouldn't do this this way, but I'm still going to do it uh, because it's easy to explain you. So, the soul is, uh, the to me, the most important thing because you're going to use a lot of magic on this fight. You're going to use Abish Trick a lot. So, you want to use this one so that you do more damage every time you use uh, uh, some kind of magic. You're going to want this because with only two hits on uh, Absolute Radiance, you're going to get enough soul that you can use uh, an Abyss Trick or uh, I think it's called a Desolent Dive or something. Um, this is also important, at least for the three first phases, because you're going to want to run a lot. Uh, so you can dodge the spikes f that come from above, and this is very important. And um, yeah, this one, of course, there's no need to explain a lot. You just want to do more damage, and you will. <laughs> so let's start. I'm going to fight her in normal, of course, because, uh, yeah, I'll in Radiance, <laughs> fighting her and speaking at the same time in Radiant would be suicide. You need to be on your best to do it, and you need to be really focused. So I'm gonna pause every time I think I'll need to explain something. And so the at the beginning of the fight I like to do like five hits like this, like really fast. It's not 100% sure that it's gonna work. Sometimes that when you do the second or the third jump, she will attack you. So look at her wings, because if she lifts her wings up, she's going to attack you right away. Okay, she started with this attack. Okay, this doesn't happen often, but uh, this is why, this is a good uh, timing for uh, explaining why I use the, the charm, where you can walk fast. This attack, sometimes it might lead you to press the dodge button, which is an awful, an awful idea, because you can dodge but you're gonna get hit by the spikes on the left or the ones on the right. But if you have the charm where you can walk really fast, you can just walk to the sides and just avoid them all. It's, it's really not that hard. Okay, this attack, yeah. Always focus on the previous place that it hit. It's the same for this attack and the same for the one where she uses the, the beans of light. Uh, I'm gonna show you a bit later because she's already did the second one, like right now. You're seeing the first laser there, it's on my right. And this is the hardest attack for me in the game. It, there's almost no time for you to react. And even if you react and dodge, you're probably gonna get hit by the one on the, le on the left on, or, on the si or on the right, sorry. So, but if, you don't, if you're lucky of not getting hit, just look to where, the, where it just landed right now. It, it, it had landed on my right side, so that's exactly where I'll go next. And then she will do the second laser and you're going to see where it hits and that's where you'll go next also and she will never hit you. So as you can see I go to my right right now and now to my left and that's it, super easy. And normally you can do two heavy streaks right away. Uh, okay, it goes the same way for this attack, okay. I stop, so as you can see, there will be an arrow that will go to my left, but you'll not go there because you have spikes on your left side, but there is an arrow that goes to my right side, so that's exactly where I'll go, I'll go to my right because she will never, atta she never attacks on the same spot, so right, see, it's easy, so uh, laser again, she gonna hit me on the right side so that's where I'll go and after that I can start spamming the abyss streak right away and I can do it twice okay so here fuck I was a bit too fast because yeah that's the thing of walking fast sometimes it, it's helpful but sometimes it can hurt you also so this is Yeah, like I said, talking and fighting her at the same time is not so easy. And the RNG, it's not helping also. Just, when she stays there ne next to the spikes, it's, it's never good. 
So I'm on to the third phase right now. And here, it's, this is really easy, and this is the best example that I can give you where um, the charm of running, it's really helpful. As you can see, she, she, she will never hit me unless I'm, I let her hit me. It's super easy to dodge without pressing the dodge button. And um, this is a perfect time for you to get a lot of soul. Do not use a beast trick here. I know I used it uh, right now, but uh, I didn't notice that I was on the third phase already. So do not use it. Just focus on always going back to your left. I think that's the key here. And try not to jump too much also to hit her. Just small jumps, and there you go. Because of my charm is broken, yeah, this is not going so well, but you would have like full soul by now, and um, you can do like five, five or six average tricks with no problem. So here, this is the hardest phase, and this is my advice to you. Of all the platforms, I think this is the one where you should stay because as you've seen right now, I just hit her with an Abyss streak. By standing here, you can hit her in, two, in three places right away. If she's in the middle, if she's on your left or she's on your right, without jumping, without almost moving. So it's, it's really important to just stay here on the middle and not go any other platform. Okay, so I'll now continue playing and uh, as I go along, I'll give you some more tips. So I'm hitting her because, like I said, I have my charm broken, so I have almost no soul. But you're just going to use average trick again and again and again. Like, you're going to use the six right away uh, as soon as you have a chance. And that means that she will be close to dead. So here she is, Do it, did an average trick. She's going to do the spike attack. So look at where the first spike is going to go and then just go there. Okay, it's going there, so I go there. Simple. It's... Uh, Okay, I need, uh, the same goes with the lasers, see where it hit it before, so another one is going to come on top of me, so that's where I will go next. Um, I have almost no soul, so I, I'm going to have to play a bit different from what I normally play, but just focus on dodging and using a bit trick from here. So I jump, yep, attack, attack, blah, blah, blah. Another thing. And this is really important. This might sound like a, a little thing, but it actually becomes a big thing. I start playing so much better after I do this. Uh, look up. And I don't mean with uh, the arrows. Just use um, R3 and look up because you can see her when she performs the attacks uh, better and, and faster. And you will have... Uh, I mean, it's less than a second, but it's still some time to, to react to it, to the attacks. Okay, so every time she goes up, just look up and you will be able to see what attack she's going to perform. And you'll have a quicker reaction time. Fuck, I hate the lasers. To me, it's the worst attack of the game. So, okay, another big thing. When she's here, you're not going to do the heavy streak. You're not going to dodge anywhere. You're going to do the, I think it's called desolate dive. I, I, I think I took a bit too much time here to, to press the pause button, so she will probably hit me. But the idea, the idea is that you do the desolate dive, I think that's what it's called, if it's not, I'm sorry. And you will be able to iframe the attack, the first attack that she does. So you're going to be able to see where she will attack. And then you will know that that's the place where you need to go next. So if she throws an arrow right there on the middle, I think she's going to do the lasers, but uh, if, let's pretend she's going to do a laser there on the middle. That's the place where I'll go next after doing the desolate dive, because she never hits the same place again. So I will try to do it the magic. I don't think there's enough time, but let's see. Oh, okay, there was. So as you just saw, the arrow just went to my right side. So of course that I will go to my right side. Because she will never attack there again, and I will be able to avoid the, the attack. I don't even need to move right now, as you can see, but, but that's the, the idea. Just go to the previous place where she attacked, and do the desolate dive here. Not probably as soon as she appears, because sometimes she appears there and does nothing. But uh, as soon as you see lift her, lift her wings up, just do it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna attack her, get some more soul. And um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna beat her not right now because I'm a bit bad on the fifth and the sixth. Okay, so we're already on the fifth stage and this is where I'm, I will not be able to give you any tip. I suck at this part. It's, I died many times on this part. Um, maybe do like try dodging through them, like bait the place that you're gonna go, like a fake place, and then do this. And yes, I made it through the last phase, but okay, last phase. So what you're gonna do is do not be greedy, do not use magic, just double jump. Like the, the uh, balls of light, they will just normally disappear and you can just hit her sometimes it doesn't matter how long it takes what you want is just to kill her so it doesn't matter um, sometimes she will do uh, spawn one of these right under the where you are so just now and you just do what i did just um, dodge to your left or your right and then go back to oh do you see what i did i didn't dodge so i got hit and i died but that's okay that's pretty much the fight that's pretty much what you so i hope this helped and uh if you want to see the whole fight in radiant mode just go to my channel and you can check it out peace